From leading roles, major brand sponsorships, millions of dollars, and global recognition, the actors of Squid Game have encountered opportunities they never could have imagined. This might be a little bit bigger than my usual project. She may have been a successful model before, but now Hoyon is a global star. She can earn around $43,000 US per sponsored Instagram post. And she is working in partnership with huge brands like Adidas and Louis Vuitton. Definitely worth the investment for these companies, since she's the most popular South Korean actress on Instagram. While the wealth and popularity have had a huge effect on the Sebyeok actress, she felt pretty changed as a person as well. Hoyeon grew very close to her character and had a hard time letting her go, sometimes feeling like Sebyeok's voice comes through in her, always teaching and changing her for the better. Chung Jae didn't have Instagram before Squid Game, so he opened up an account and made his first post just a couple weeks after the show premiered and quickly gained over 4 million followers. The actor has been lurking on social media now that memes, photos, and fan theories for Squid Game have been taking over. And he's even found a light in the parody videos. The actor feels in terms of his career, the show's success hasn't done a lot for him, but the day-to-day -day has been very different because suddenly, he's being recognized whenever he's out. The Gion actor is already busy at work on another project, and while he hasn't heard from any North American companies about doing a project with them, he's very open to the idea and would jump at the chance to travel and film overseas. The police officer on a mission has had quite the rise in popularity, and his cover of Men's Health Korea definitely helped. It's no surprise his follower count jumped from around 300,000 to about 9 million. His life didn't just change financially and professionally, though. He actually overcame a phobia of water after the show because of all the lessons and work he had to do for underwater filming in the series. It was a big step, but one that's been very worth it for the actor. Hey Su is already busy and booked on other projects, including the film Ghost and two Netflix shows, Suriname and a Korean adaptation of another popular series, Money Heist. With a net worth of around 3 to 4 million, this actor is definitely earning his success. The biggest change since the show, though, would be his new role as a father to a baby nicknamed Baby Squid, who happened to be born the day the show premiered. Talk about a life turning upside down. The creator and director of Squid Game has been blown away by just how successful the program has been, and shocked by the fact that he could find this kind of success. It's of course been a pretty emotional time considering how quickly Squid Game rose to success, especially since he wrote the series over a decade ago. There has been a ton of demand for a second season, but Huang had never actually planned on another one. However, there were some cliffhangers at the end of the first season, and fans have offered all sorts of amazing ideas and theories that have really inspired the director's thinking. While the pressure is definitely high, he's open and excited to potentially bring Squid Game back for another season. They'll steal the ideas from the fans. Player One, the mastermind behind Squid Game, was in control on the show, but in real life, he's been extremely overwhelmed with all the buzz around himself and the series. While he's been acting for many years, he's never gotten so many inquiries and offers. So his daughter had to start helping him run his career since he never had a manager who'd normally take care of these matters. The actor has already been offered starring roles in TV commercials and has had to turn some down. We can only imagine how many people would recognize him out in public if he did commercials as well. The actor only recently came to terms with just how tough it can be to be famous. The actor originally from India has become extremely popular and is getting way more recognition than he ever thought he would. People are taking selfies, they want to take autographs. And with the exposure has come the hope that maybe he could perform in India and in his own language. The journey he had to get to this point in his career is exceptional. He moved to Korea because he had a scholarship to study and now he's worth around half a million dollars. We have a feeling his dream to perform in front of his hometown audience is pretty probable at this point. Uh, these days there's 
so many calls. While the actor is now a self-proclaimed millionaire, after reaching 1 million followers on Instagram, his health did suffer in the process of making the show because of how quickly he bulked up and gained weight, resulting in him often being sick and really struggling during the strenuous days on set. He is still dealing with the ramifications of the intense body transformation, leaving him wary to take on any jobs that require him to gain that much weight so quickly. It hasn't all been bad, though. The actor can make around $1,000 per sponsored Instagram post. The frontman actor in the series is actually one of the few South Korean actors who's established a reputation in Hollywood in the G.I. Joe films and Terminator Genesis. While in the States, he dealt with some racism on sets, but with the success of Squid Game, he hasn't given up on Hollywood yet, and he's still wanting to make films in the US. His growing popularity and central role as the mysterious frontman has given way to rumors that a second season could focus on his story. Our fingers are crossed. Dream come true. So, uh, th th that's a great thing. The VIPs in Squid Game were talked about, but not necessarily for the right reasons, since there has been a lot of criticism about their performances in the hit show. The actor who played VIP number 4 isn't too bothered by the negative reactions, since he's still been receiving a ton of recognition. The actor also gets fan mail, autograph requests, and one admirer even went so far as to tattoo both his real name and the character's name on her arm. Definitely not much to complain about. In his own words, I'm in the most popular film in the history of television. As for VIP number two, all the flack wasn't so great and he was pretty upset by the comments. Mostly I just try to take what I can from the negativity or the, you know, the criticisms. VIP number one wasn't a fan of being dissed in reviews, but he's also aware of the stereotypes that exist in the entertainment industry for Westerners in South Korea. VIP1 has mainly been advocating for actors like himself, making sure to explain that they do still have to go through a rigorous audition process to book a role, instead of just being picked up off the streets. The actor who played the slick recruiter in the series was actually one of the biggest names in the show. He rose to international fame when he did the film Train to Busan. His performance in the Netflix series earned him even more fans, and many of the Squid Game followers are hoping that he'll have a leading role if there's a second season. Perhaps the strangest change he's encountered since the show took off has been the fact that now, loads of people want to be slapped by him and aren't shy in letting the actor know. Performing since she was a teenager, Yumi is a seasoned actor now, but nothing prepared her for the rapid rise to fame. While she had an impressive 40,000 followers on Instagram before the show came out, she very quickly gained about 6 million more fans. Professionally, the ball is kept rolling and she's already filming other projects, including a Netflix film called All of Us Are Dead. As for her personal life, Squid Game brought the actress one of her closest friends. She and Hoyeon talk to each other every day, having developed an incredible real-life friendship. It's great to see the actors of Squid Game becoming so successful. Just goes to show anything can happen in show business. We're hoping their popularity continues and we'll get to see them all on screen more. Which brand do you think is going to get Player One to be a brand ambassador?